Monster Energy Pit Reporter, and I'm here right now with Ice Nine Kills. How are you guys doing? Great. Good. Good. Getting hyped for your big summer plans, yeah? Oh yeah. Very excited for Warp Tour this year. Yeah, it's going to be your third year on the tour as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so what is it for you guys? What's your favorite part of being involved with music festivals like Warp Tour? For me, Warp Tour is always great to play because I get to watch the bands that I grew up listening that got me into yeah. this kind of music and perform on the same stage as them. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of punk and ska bands like Real Big Fish and Less Than Jake, just as much as I am, uh, you know, heavier bands like Betray You that you know inspired me to get my own band going. So that's my favorite part. Absolutely. What about you? Uh, for me, it's it's you know playing obviously great shows most days and you know seeing a lot of bands that we've toured with in the past and you know hanging out with friends from touring and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. And did you guys go to Warped Tour growing up before you were in a band? Because it's been going on for two decades. It's been a while. I did. Yeah? I think the first year I went was either 2001 or 2002. Mm -hmm. And it was an amazing experience. I got to see all my favorite bands at once. It was great. That's what it's all about, yes. right? It, same with me. It was. It was, almost didn't matter the bands that were playing. It was just like every year was gotta go to Warp Tour, gotta go to Warp Tour. And that was like the dream was to like play Warp Tour. So it's kind of surreal. I definitely think it's one of those things that once you go once, you're kind of hooked. Yeah, and then it doesn't absolutely. even matter who's playing. You just like, like you said, you gotta go. Um, so now that you've played on the tour a couple times, what are your most memorable moments looking back on those past years? I would say for me, 2014, the first day of the tour, we were on the monster stage for that year, but yeah. On main stage the first day. That's a good way to start. Yeah, so it was. <laughs> yeah, it was a combination of this is really awesome and oh my god, we better be good. And it was amazing and we did a good job and you know, you know main stage work tour, something we've always strived for. So that was a great experience. Any other memories that come to mind for you? Yeah, I mean that was that's definitely a big one. Day one playing main stage and yeah, there were a couple other days that stand out like uh, Chicago. I remember, like we just walked on stage and you couldn't even see the back of the crowd. It, it was a big insane. Too, yeah. yeah. So now that year you started off on the main stage. So we got to figure out a way to make this first day of 2016 it. warped even better. So what do we do? I don't know. Leave us a comment. Tell us what we should do. <laughs> and there are a lot of other amazing bands playing on the tour this year. Over 100 plus bands. So who else are you guys excited to see and hang out with? I know you mentioned Lesson Jake, Real Big Fish. Anyone else? On our stage, I think. Crown the Empire, we've toured with them yes. many times. Those are our friends, Motionless and White. Color Morale, Chelsea Grin. I see yes. stars, we've toured with a bunch. A it's gonna really be great. Yeah. Yeah. And let's talk about your music a little bit here. Every trick in the book is the album that's out now. And so I read that every track on the album is inspired by a different piece of literature. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Um so what inspired that whole concept of the album? Basically we wanted to try something a little bit different. You know, every other album we've done in the past has been obviously written from personal experiences yeah. and we, we really had some success with our song Me, Myself and Hyde which came out before the album, it was sort of a bridge track from the last album to this one and that was based on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So the fan reaction was great and when it came time to do a new record we thought wouldn't it be cool to continue this concept and make every song about a different book. Yes, that is so smart and so was it more challenging for you guys doing it that way rather than drawing on I think it was chal more challenging in ways and easier in other ways. Um, easier in the sense that, hey, we know that these stories are compelling to begin with, it, um, but harder in a way that these are classic stories and we want to do them justice. So there was, you know, some nerves um, regarding that, but all in all, I think we, uh, we pulled it off. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Thank Definitely you. Did. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It has been great talking to you both. And everybody watching, make sure you get ready to see Ice Nine Kills on Warp Tour this summer and go to VansWarpTour.com for the lineup, tour dates, and tickets. And I'll see you in the pit. Bye. See you in the pit. See you guys. <laughs>